I really thought our effort was great early, um, and that's something. That's all we talked about the last two games is just um, coming ready to play, and, and we had to be better defensively. I I thought we were better defensively early. I, they had what two at the uh, didn't have a field goal at the first TV timeout, um, you know. And but the problem was we instead of being up eight to two um, and whatever it was a little later. Um, you know, we made good passes, extra passes. We just didn't make the shots. And that, at that period, that was when uh, we probably should have had it stretched out where they couldn't come back. And then credit to them, they're good. Obviously, four in a row. Um, you know, they. I, I thought Hunter's poise and his passing, uh, ten assists, making the right plays was was huge. Obviously, Grill. You know, the last time he goes one for 12, and that was a layup he made. Uh, he has not shot the ball well, but he got into a groove and, and six for 10 for three. And, uh, you know, so their bench, you look at the stats, it's pretty obvious 31 points from their bench to our six, and then 15 second chance points to our four. Uh, but again, we hung in there, we, we fight, we battle. Um, you know, but. Uh, just, you know, he had a chance. I, I thought they were very physical with Nigel on the last play, but um, obviously they we didn't get a call. And uh, we lost the ball, and, you know, it, it just just a tough circumstance. So, you know, again, our guys, they, they care, they battle. I think sometimes they win, try to win on their own, and we got we to gotta really help each other uh, if we're going to have a chance. Thought the free throws to the first half. Uh, again, we, I think it was 13 for 18 or 12 for 18 at halftime, and and that that kind of hurt us because you need to you need to every extra point makes a big difference, and um, those those misses you know probably could have maybe avoided the rally by them or just got kept the momentum away from them. Yeah, Bruce, I, I was curious if you could speak on just the heart that Nigel plays with. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, you know, I didn't even bring it up, you know, it's 32 points and, you know, shooting. Uh, and they're, and they're, they're physical with them all game. I, I've complained all year about, you know, he's a really good player and you can't let people, you know, take advantage of maybe his size by, you know, hanging on him, being physical with him, um, you know, and, and you know, he had a you know a magical run, five, six games. The last three haven't been any. And again, his bad game is 20 or 17 or 13, whatever. Uh, but uh, you know, I I, I talked with him uh, the other night after we got back from Kansas. I talked to him. Yeah, actually, he texted me this morning. Um, you know, I, I you know we I said don't no regrets. You know, believe in yourself. Let's get. You know, this you're really good, and and he stepped up, and you know, and he he's got a deep thigh bruise, got help or need in the hip, um, kept coming back, kept making plays, and you know, he he's special, he's elite. I mean, he, obviously the turnovers, again, I, I credit that a little bit, the physicality maybe once in a while, and he maybe tries to overdo it a few times, but we needed some, you know, he was just trying to help us win, and some of the other guys just didn't make enough plays when it mattered. He had said after just now that um, what he's learned most about himself this year has been his confidence. How have you seen that rear itself? And that's my text to him, and I don't have it here, but um, I just said no regrets and, you know, believe in yourself basically and be definite and, you know, don't, don't hesitate, whatever. I can't remember the words. I'd have to go back. But, you know, because I, I thought he was – you know, he isn't, he's still a young guy. He's really a freshman when, when you consider it. And, um, uh, you know, and everyone knows that balls are going to him and, and he's still finding ways. And, you know, we just, uh, you know, I, again, I, that's, that's pretty good performance, basically. He, he gave us a chance to win and, and then he even makes the last one. So, uh, and they practice those all the time. I wish we would have made one a couple, one of those other games where it wasn't four points. Bruce, just two offensive rebounds. Were you guys intent on getting back on defense? 
Um, I mean, we've really emphasized that after Kansas, but um, you know, I, I you know, it, it, Mark gets in foul trouble. Mark, you know, again, Mark really, really cares, and he wants to do well. I think sometimes, you know, he, he just. Almost like tight. I just told him a couple huddles. Relax. You're okay. You're good. You're really. You've had an unbelievable year, and um, but we, you know, we needed. A, you know, obviously a couple of those would have been nice to. But we played small a lot of the game, so you know we're, you know, those aren't the guys that are probably going to get them for us. So it makes a difference. Crazy thing is they, you know, they only have eight. But they get every time. Obviously, they every time they got it, they they must have scored. Uh, and they had some long ones too that they end up getting uh, off of some missed threes that that made a little bit of a difference. Uh, talk about Marquise's heart at the end of the game to you know be able to knock down all those free throws and give you guys a chance. Yeah, I mean, he, he got some steals, got some. You know, again, they all. It's not. A, that's not a question. And their effort from the start, their focus, their preparation. You know, my only thing would be, you know, uh, don't try to always make this Superman play. That's with a lot of them. You let the game come and uh, play at a good pace. Um, you know, our defense is, is you know, it's, it's good at times. I thought it was really special early. But then the ball screen defense, we just couldn't deal with it. And... And then they took advantage of it and got, obviously, Hunter got downhill and made a lot of good reads and plays. What was the message to the team after that heart I appreciate them. I love them. I, you know, this, um, their heart, their effort, they care. You know, they, they could have easily given in today, and they didn't. And you know, we had a chance at the end. You know, it's just we had the ball and down two. Yeah. Obviously, you get it to Nigel. Um, I guess they were give them credit. They they got physical with them, and, and didn't, we didn't get this. We didn't get a call or a, a shot off at the end. Bruce, I'm just wondering where is the frustration level for you and the team to not only lose a close game like today, but after all the close calls you've been when to look at the record and see just 14 and 14 now. Yeah, I, I keep saying we're good enough. I, I you know I told you guys we be, I believe we belong in the NCAA tournament, but now you got to earn it. Now we put ourselves in another bind. Um, we just got to, I, 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 again, their effort is there. I, the little discipline stuff uh, that makes a, a difference in games, I think, is uh, my only, the only thing I, I told them after, that's the only thing that I, I wish we had a little better. And, and those discipline plays, and it could be in the middle of the game, um, that make a difference. You know, we all worry about the end, but the middle, we could, you know, like I said, we easily could have been up by quite a bit. And, and we did it. And you, you mentioned Caleb in your opening statement, but did he surprise you at all? I mean, I mean, you look at the stats. I, I know he can shoot. I mean, I recruited him, and um, you know he's been inconsistent. He, he, but um, you know he, he got the one down, and obviously he he was he was going. And he that's the difference. Last time it was Kuntz, this time it was him. And uh, but I got you got to not only him making the shots, but you got to give Hunter credit for making passes because he you know for a freshman we've we've continued to say there aren't many freshmen in our league but that 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 dude's got some he's pretty good and he's got some good poise and plays like a real point guard when it uh when you guys fell down by by 15 there in the second half what what were you saying to to, to the guys to try to get them back on track I, I mean I just kept telling them you know we believe in them we got to have positive energy we got to believe in our, each other um, I think I know we we started doubting we you know I can't I always used the Tigger and Eeyore I can't have Eeyores out there I need Tiggers I got to have bounce I got to have energy we got you got to come and make plays uh, and you know the, you know I said if you have good positive energy good things will happen and obviously it did um, Gave us a chance. And then now that you're, you know, NCAA tournament fate does lie on, on success in the Big 12 tournament, where yeah, is kind of I think it lies in the next two games, yeah. really, to be honest. You go to Texas Tech and win, no one else has done that. Now, is it going to be easy? Heck no. But 
we you know crazier things have happened so we got to get that's the most important focus right now is getting healthy we got Marquise boogered up we got Nigel boogered up uh they played a lot of minutes uh but we got to go there and, and have a special performance and see what we can do that's the that's all we can worry about right now I guess just talk a, little, talk a little bit about the challenge of winning at Texas Tech and, and what you what you got to do now it, with the quick turnaround. Uh, unbelievable environment that they they've created. I, I Coach Beard got it going. It's continued. They they've latched on to it. Um, they play at a high level there, uh, you know, and 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 they, you know, they haven't played quite as well on the road. Uh, to be honest, when you kind of study them, it'll be interesting tonight what they do, but. Um, you know we have to we have to do a good job of staying in front of them, and then their defense they do such a good job of uh, you know switching icing the ball screens. We got to make right plays, and then you know there's no doubt we got to make got to jump up and make some shots. We got to have some other guys have have a special game. Um, you know if we're gonna have have an opportunity. Just how frustrating is it to see, you know, guys like Jaden Walker who hadn't hit a three all Big 12? Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, yeah. Had he shot one, maybe one in the season? I don't even and know. And he yeah. launched it, it went, and it went in. You know, I, I guess sometimes that happens. You know, and, and, you know, you talk about Grill, he's the last stretch, he's really struggled. Um, you know, and then he's had a couple stretches in the year where he's, where he's made shots. But, um, you know, credit to them. Uh, you know, for guy, that's why I'm saying we, you know, again, you look at the bench points and even Robert Jones, uh, had, I don't know if he, the last five, you could look at it, he might have averaged maybe one point, something like that. It might have been less, I could, and he gets eight. So, you know, that, you know, if you could have grilled getting his, but if we could have avoided those other guys getting those, you know, maybe make a, a little bit of a difference. And then what happened on the glass? The last two games you were really, you know, solid on the glass. You this know, time I, you got... I don't think, again, I, you know, we, they had eight offensive rebounds. We had two. You know, it, it's not like if you hold people to eight. I'd, but obviously the eight led to 15. And, um, you know, I, I, you know I, I didn't think it was like they were just killing us on the boards. But, uh, you know, I, they, they were – they were fishing at them, and when they got them, they 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 made us pay. You know, Mark gets beat gets beat on a layup in the first half. Walker misses it, but then he gets the rebound. You know, we at the end, uh, Kuntz somebody missed, and then Kuntz comes in and gets it. Uh, you know, and those are those are killer plays, and that's a foul and two shots. So, and he steps up and goes four for four for the line. I, I, you know, how can you keep them off there? Obviously, you got some special guys in our league. Our league is very, very talented. Obaji is special. Brockington is special. Um, Sherman is pretty good, but Nigel's got to be up there with that that group. I, I don't, you know, I saw. It's, I don't know. You guys know more than I. Just I watch games without sound, but there was one thing where he was first and threes made percentage something I mean it was all and he's one of the leading scorers in the league so um, and and obviously he doesn't have as much quite as much help as some of the other guys other teams but you know it, it's it's been a, a pleasure to coach him it's been fun he gives us a chance and he's made big improvement from well, obviously from a year ago and he was good last year but you know that's big steps